Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Okay, I return to source or negative energy intent immediately and permanently. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is being returned to you as we speak. All negative and evil plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled as we speak permanently. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. All right, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. I hope you all are doing a okay. All right. So someone is definitely broken hearted and your pathway is clear. There's a lot of emotions going on right now behind the scenes that you may not be aware of. You may just be moving on with your life. Someone has trapped themselves in some type of situation they cannot get out of because they took some type of action they were not supposed to take. Someone is very much desperate to bring an ending to someone else. They don't want you moving forward. They want to trap you in something, bring some type of problems to you, but it will not happen. For someone out there, you are supposed to be running into someone else. It's going to be like, oh my gosh, hi, I haven't seen you in forever. Or it's so nice to see you. I can't believe I'm seeing you here. What are you doing here? It's all staged. Okay, it's all staged. It's not going to be natural. It's something that's being planned behind the scenes. You're either supposed to run into some type of masculine, like it's supposed to be accidental. You go to the store and, oh, voila, he's there. What are you doing here? I'm just here grocery shopping. What are you doing here? You stay in Timbuktu. What are you doing in Missouri, right? Yeah, something like that. So there's some type of plan to have you run into someone. This is to cause some type of illusion. There's something about two people needing to connect. Listen, then I just said two people needing to connect and the, the deck absolutely split up. You two are supposed to connect, supposed to meet, right? And there is some type of interference going on behind the scenes. They want to distract the feminine energy with some masculine energy that's impulsive as heck. Don't know nothing about being a soul twin. Does not even give up that vibration of being a soul twin. For some of you, this could be the masculine. There's some feminine being put in your energy. She's supposed to be your divine feminine, but she's not. She's being groomed on how to behave and act as a divine feminine. But she is nothing of that nature, okay? But someone is pissed up that you are moving forward regardless. They don't want someone going for something, but they're taking action to go for it. You're not supposed to be receiving some type of Ace of Pentacles, according to these people. They're trying to block someone from giving you an Ace of Pentacles, even though this is something that is destined for you. This is a collaborative effort, okay? People are doing things behind the scene to breadcrumb you. They don't want you to receive this. They want you to receive this. But you're going to end up receiving double for your trouble. Um, it's what I'm seeing which is kind of crazy someone wants to yeah i'm telling you disappointment someone wants to a pinch of what belongs to you someone trapped themselves lord have mercy they want to take what belongs to you or if it's some type of physical like financial abundance you're supposed to be receiving someone wants to be taken from it and breadcrumb you not going to be happening you are going to receive what's due to you right you may have been going through some type of stagnation in your life and people are aware of that you are surrounded by wolves okay i like to say you're surrounded by wolves in sheep clothing and you are a sheep in wolf clothing people don't understand your vibration it confuses them so it's probably one of the reasons why people find it easy to either go up against you or or they think it's easy to go up against you they kind of have some type of delusion that you're easy pick you know you look innocent and everything you're like a child naive so they think until they go up against you and it's heartbreak right it's disappointment for them so someone is disappointed that they cannot bring legal issues to you someone is disappointed because they trapped themselves they don't know which way to go it's like it's like they were supposed to bring you woes but they ended up bringing themselves woes someone trapped themselves because they took some type of impulsive action that they were not supposed to take um and it's turning out to be really detrimental to them okay uh, someone does not know the next move they're trying to plan their next move they don't know if the whatever i'm telling you they don't know their next move 
They don't know. They're contemplating. Should I do this? Should I not do this? Should I call her? Should I not call her? Should I call him? Should I not call him? There's something going on here behind the scenes that you are not uh, privy to, right? When you see these people, it's going to be like nothing is going on, but they are having problems behind the scenes. Someone is having a lot of financial issues. They're trying to trap you, but they're not going to be able to. There's going to be some type of interference on your behalf by the universe to get you out of some type of situation people are trying to put you in it's a divine interference so before the situation escalates to what they are intending for it to escalate to there's going to be divine interference so your pathway is going to be clear regardless we're starting off with the sun i think because the universe wants you to keep your mind on positive things they want you to know that you are protected you are protected from heartbreak from disappointments from betrayal, you're protected from all of these things. Whatever people are planning for you, you're protected from all of it. And the universe wants you to know that it sees everything and it sees everyone. Everyone will be held accountable for all that they are doing, right? You're supposed to be receiving this Ace of Pentacles, some type of abundance, some type of new beginning in work and things like that. Someone wants to work with you. There's a privileged man or privileged lady that wants to give you an opportunity and people are trying to prevent you and this person from working together. It doesn't have to be love. It can just be a professional business relationship, but they're trying to interfere with this. But someone, whoever this is, that's trying to prevent this connection from happening from you and this pri uh, privileged man or uh, this uh, wealthy man from working together, it's not going to happen, right? He's still going to be able to give you this offer in due time, right? You could be going through some type of financial light stagnation, some type of financial setback, and he may be aware of that. Your people that are going up against you as well are going through financial losses. They're going through a lot of loss. Someone has something they need to balance in their life. Like someone has bigger fish to fry than focusing on you. They've been focusing on the wrong thing. And, it, and right now they're realizing that they made a wrong judgment. And it has led to a lot of loss for them, right? It has led to a lot of loss. If you can see here, they're going from the uh, six of pentacles to the five of cups to the four of pentacles. That's a, that's a, a drastic di uh, digression in finances, in romance, in whatever relationships, networks, connections, whatever you can think of. Someone is going through a lot of setbacks right now, right? Someone could be wealthy. There's someone in here where they are wealthy, but as far as what's in the bank, it's not matching up. They have wealth as far as like assets. Their houses, they have like the big fancy house, the nice car, nice clothes, but as far as the balance in the bank account, it's no different from mine and yours because this person did not spend wisely. Someone wants to trap you financially. They want to bring financial burdens to you. So they don't want you to be able to move forward. If you have any type of money coming in, they want to interfere with that because they want you trapped. But you're not trapped. You're a star seed. You're not trapped. Someone is laying a trap for themselves thinking that they're trapping you. You're not trapped. The most high will be interfering. Someone does not know what move to make. This could be a king of pentacles that's contemplating on how, to, I'm telling you, how to move forward. He doesn't know how to move forward. He made a wrong judgment. He misjudged someone, right? Someone was supposed to be loyal. I mean, not even loyal. Someone was supposed to support you because of what the most high told them. Something was revealed to someone to assist you on your journey and someone either accepted some type of bribery or they failed to listen to their higher judgment and now they're going through some type of ending and this is not something that they were expecting right they thought it was not going to turn into anything they thought that it was just another you know oh i'm gonna do this nothing's gonna come of it it's not that big of a deal but they didn't realize it really was a big of a deal they were being tested so someone may have fallen from grace because they made the wrong move someone is going through a heavy change and it's going to be really catastrophic what they're going through someone may have trapped themselves up financially is that they can't do anything i'm telling you this is oh yeah it's a king of pentacles going through disappointment because he tried to either trap an empress, he either betrayed an empress, decided to bring problems to an empress, 
For some of you, this King of Pentacles is married to an Empress energy and she's more than likely just an Empress because she's either a mother, she he could be she could be his mother, something of that nature. That's why she's showing up as an Empress. But there was a whole plan to trap another Empress. It could be you collective or whoever this message resonates with. Um, they were planning to trap you, bring you legal issues, just bring you all, bring you all types of problems, break your heart, right? There's something about you, that also an empress and a king of pentacles that were supposed to pair together, but the king of pentacles did something to betray the empress, and it's not going accordingly. Someone made a really bad move, and he's realizing that, all right? And it's hurting his finances. Someone may have listened to his mother, or they... Or, yeah, he made a really bad move. He took some type of impulsive action and it affected his finances. It affected his finances. And whoever this is that he was working with is losing money as well. She's losing her stability, losing her social status. There's something going on with that, okay? She, she herself, she's, there's something with her mental is not balanced. Her mental is not balanced. Someone either interfere with a promotion for someone else, like some type of elevation in life. You were supposed to receive some type of elevation and these people interfere with it. They, they thought that they were going to receive it. There is a karmic couple out here that is absolutely stern. They have their minds set on either sacrificing someone so that they can get what belongs to that person, but they won't be able to. They're facing a lot of issues. Because these people are very greedy, impulsive, reckless, right? Very financially focused. It's always, where's the next uh, money coming from? That, like, even if they have enough, it's not enough. They're very greedy and they don't spend wisely either. These are people that spend foolishly. And they're going through some type of financial loss, especially her. I don't know if she even works. She maybe spends her husband money. She stays home shopping online all day, trying to look like something she's not. They're going through a lot of losses. They're about to be like, you know how they have that song moving on up to the east side in the deluxe apartment in the sky? These people are going to be moving down in the two-bedroom department in the south. The south city, south side, right? They're going through a tower, an ending right it is absolutely an ending they were not expecting they thought that they had did a number on someone and they were going to finish you there's a couple out here that's extremely toxic very karmic very uh, uh, uh imbalanced just ridiculous a ridiculous couple these people should not even be together because they're so toxic in a sense, they should, they deserve each other because of their low vibrational way of living. But then again, it's detrimental. It's, it's terrifying for these kind of people to be together because of how unhealthy they are. Okay? So, for some of you, like you could have a king of pentacles and an empress that are in the upright going up against a king of pentacles and an empress that are in the reverse. Right? They're competing with another couple. That they have no business competing with. It's like someone has been pretending as well. There's a lot of situations in here. There's a king of pentacles that wants to work with a, a, a star seed. However, there's a woman that has been groomed and put in his energy to pretend to be an empress, to be someone of privilege, to be someone of high honor, but she's not someone of high honor. This is just someone who's showing up in an empress energy because she may be a mother. Okay, but this is someone extremely karmic, low vibrational, mentally unstable. She's trapped in her mind, right? Someone that has a hard time coming up with new ideas, creating new paths for herself. Someone that does not even know how to hinder her own problems. Someone that does not know how to focus on her own business, Right, and I don't mean like a entity. I mean like her own her own life. She doesn't know how to stick to her own life. Like she's too she's too concerned about other people's lives. This is someone that's possibly in competition with other women, but she's falling from grace. She is falling from grace. If she ever if she ever did have grace, either she's just being exposed, 
or she's losing a lot of money a lot a lot a lot of influence a lot of money something of that nature and this king of pentacles is going through a lot of disappointments He's realizing, for someone out there, this man is realizing that he paired up with the wrong person. He's heartbroken. He thought he had found a divine feminine. It's that he he was presented with a true star seed, but he went with someone in the reverse. He went with someone the complete opposite. This is not someone of high honor. This is someone that's pretentious. She was more, more than likely paid to be in his energy. And he didn't know that. And they're both going through some type of ending because she's exposed and the truth is exposed to him, right? And he could be facing a lot of financial issues. I don't know. It's a whole lot going on with these two people. Hopefully, they didn't get married with the higher fan out here. Hopefully, they didn't get married because that's going to be a nightmare. That's a nightmare. But for some of you, this is a couple... That is after someone wanting to bring endings to someone and they won't be able to because someone is exposed for who they are. Yeah, exposed. This woman is exposed for who she is. This is a thief. This is a pretender. When you communicate or interact with this person, you're interacting and communicating with the representative. Both of these people, you are interacting with the representative. And there's just a king of pentacles in here that's heartbroken because he chose the wrong person. He chose the wrong person. He thought he had a divine feminine on his arm, only to find out it's a Jesse Bell. Someone that was either paid to be in his energy or someone that was pretending to be something they're not because they wanted something from him. Okay? Yeah, these people could have legal issues coming in. A mess. Legal issues coming in. For some of you, this could be someone from your past. Maybe they want to come in, give you something so you two can reconnect. Because why? They have legal issues going on. <laughs> someone has problems going on with the court system. And they may want to come in really quickly, give you something so that they can reconnect with you. Maybe you'll vouch for them and the case will be dropped or for some of you, this is someone coming in because they know you have some type of abundance coming towards you and they want to have some type of connection to their abundance. You don't have any fond memories of this person, but this is someone from your past. Either you dated this person or something was going on. Someone from your past you had some type of close bond with. But that couple, it, it, this could be the person from your past that partner up with this woman in the reverse this this false empress she's not someone of high honor whatever she was trying to steal from you is not going to her he knows that you're going to be receiving what's yours so now he wants to come in quickly and connect with you but you're like mm, no i don't want to connect with you i don't even know who you are anymore you and i don't even resonate on the same frequency anymore why would i connect with you yeah he wants to connect with you he wants to connect with you. And it's going to be disappointing because you don't want to connect with this person. You have a new contract with an emperor. You have a new contract with an emperor. So that person from your past is not going to work. Someone, whoever this is from your past is walking around with a mask, pretending like everything is okay. Like he doesn't really care. She doesn't really care about you. But they do. They're broken on the inside because they know you're about to be in some type of genuine connection with someone in uh, someone of high honor. This is someone. Th this person from your past is someone that discarded you, decided that you were not worth a commitment, and then tried to smear your character, slander you, and you know try to prevent other people from connecting with you, whether it was in work or business or love, whatever it is. This person wanted to end your future. They didn't want people seeing you in a positive light. So someone has been doing a lot behind the scenes to interfere with your connections. By this point, you're probably exhausted and you're probably just telling the most high, I'm tired of this mess. I need you all to fix it. I need you all to fix it. But you're about to have a new contract with an emperor.
clarity on this king of pentacles please because it looks like he's going through some type of wolves yeah this person wants to have some type of new beginning with you but you have a new beginning with an emperor you have a new be oh there's a whole stack under here excuse me you have a whole new beginning with an emperor lord have mercy yeah you may have options out here you have options this emperor wants to have a new beginning with you you have kind of brought some type of emotional side of this man out this is someone that's usually stern very stoic serious and things like that but he wants to have a new beginning with you this king of pentacles may be trying to interfere with that is that two, the two of them are interested in you but this one betrayed you he did something something in the past chose the wrong energy and now he's living in regret and wants to have a new beginning with you but i don't know if that's going to happen this emperor also is interested in you wants to have a new beginning with you loves you dreams about you has a lot of fantasies and things like that about you there's something like that going on there also will be a king of cups in here that's interested in you this could be someone from your past that's trapped with an empress energy that's not really an empress energy or this person could be married they're trapped in some type of marriage that they don't want to be in so this person is not going to be coming to you because they're already married but there's judgment in this situation judgment has been called so you are going to end up in some type of new relationship but i can't tell you from adam who it's going to be because there are three masculines out here you have options it's that you have an option between your past either a present person and a future person and for me the past is never an option the past is never an option be forward moving okay but if you make the right choice you're going to have a lot of fulfillment and success in life with this person someone in here may have material motive right Someone in here has ulterior motives and you need to be mindful. Yeah, someone, yeah, someone from your past wants to start over brand new with you. They, they want to come in and say, hey, I know things didn't work out before, but I took the time to heal. I want to give you this little token um, as a token of gratitude for all that you did for me in the past or how, or just to show you how much I care about you. No, you don't. You've been given a new path with someone else or a new career or something like that. Move on. Wish them well and move on. Wish them well and move on. Stand your ground and move on. Okay? Someone chose another energy over you before. Let, let them stay where they, where they choose. They knew where they belong. That's why they went there. Someone definitely has ulterior motives. Okay? Someone absolutely has ulterior motives. This could be the person you end up meeting in the store by coincidence. Hi, I haven't seen you in forever. What are you doing here? It's so nice to see you. And you're just looking around like, um, is he talking to me? Because I know the last time we talked like 10 years ago, you were calling me all types of bees and things like that. So how is it nice to see me today? Nothing changed. I don't have any animosity for you, but the same energy you had for me back then, keep that same energy. It's dead. That old me is dead and gone. Okay? Let's keep the energy consistent. I'm telling you, you're, I'm telling you, you're going to be meeting someone. And this is our plan. It said, she goes to the grocery stores on this day at this time. Okay? You go an hour early or 30 minutes early. Just sit in your car. Watch for her when she comes out of her car. Let her go into the store first. And then you walk behind, right? And pay attention to the aisles that she's going through, what she's picking up and things like that so you can know what she likes, right? So you, that can help you spark a conversation with her. Like, they, they have it all planned. This is a whole group meeting on how to divert 
your path. They want you to go back to the past, but that's not an option. This is a whole plan. And if you don't want to go back to the past, they have a masculine. They are grooming to be your divine uh, masculine or even a woman to be your divine feminine. And it, it's not going to work because this person is not healed. Someone is naturally toxic and they don't know it. So it looks really clown clownly. It looks like a clown trying to act like they're not a clown. You know Ronald McDonald? Picture Ronald McDonald in his full, uh, 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 what do they call it? In his uh, in attire. I forgot what they call that. Like he has his whole wardrobe on. He has the, the face on, the nose, the mouth. He has the, has the outfit on, the hair. But then he's trying to pretend like he's not a clown. It's like, uh, Ronald McDonald, are you okay today? Blink twice if you need help. Blink twice if you're in danger. It's that kind of situation. Like someone does not know they're naturally toxic or just naturally their energy just says, I'm on you. I'm not into spirituality. If you're courteous to someone, they may be taking it the wrong way. They think that you and them have some type of connection because they've been groomed to have a connection with you. It's something weird like that. Be mindful. That's why I always say on my platform, do not be in a hurry to fall in love with anyone. Do not be in a hurry for any promotions, any type of nothing. Because the enemy is very uh, strategic when it comes to how badly they want to take you down. There's a couple that wants to take someone down. And if you partner up with the wrong person, instead of that uh, a wealthy man or whoever it is that you're meant to be with, you're going to miss, be missing out on your abundance. So this is why they are rushing in to bring someone in to meet you, either from the past or someone new that you are not going to be vibrating with. Because you will know. If you are someone that's truly in this energy, you will know. You will know. I think because we appear in this naive energy, people think they can just trick us. And this is something I've dealt with my whole life. I, I look a certain way. You know, I'm not rah-rah. Like, I'm not about to get loud. I'm not about to get loud with you. I will fix you if you try me, but I'm not going to be loud and ghetto about it. I'm very, like, I'm diplomatic on how I handle things. So I'm not going to be disrespectful with you. I'm going to give you the facts of the situation in a tactful way. Being disrespectful with you or to you is my last resort. It's an option, but it's the last resort for me. If I make it to that point, that means you've really pushed my button. Like there was no other option for me. So people, because we're diplomatic and we choose to be tactful, classy and things like that, people mistaking that energy for something else. They'll say, oh, well, she should push, she should, she's uh, just a pushover. He's just a pushover. We can do whatever we want. They don't know what's going on. They're naive, they're dumb. Little do they know, we were born on a day and it just was not yesterday. So someone thinks that a group of people think they have perfected the plan to come in and deceive you with the wrong masculine or some type of wrong offer is not going to be happening. It's not going to be happening. What's going to be happening is you're going to be connecting with the person you're supposed to be connecting with. Someone out there, you're going to be receiving a letter from the person you're supposed to be working with or the institution you're supposed to be working with. All of this nonsense these people are doing behind the scenes, trying to trick you to end up in some type of karmic relationship, it's not going to work. It's a waste of time. They may have even paid this person to come into your life. Say, hey... She's beautiful. She's good looking. She's smart. She has her own life going on. This is you, Divine Feminine. All you have to do is get her to fall in love with you. Make her believe that you two have a connection. But if you're someone in this energy, you know. Because you're a pure energy, pure energy knows pure energy. And pure energy knows what's not pure. So how are you going to deceive this energy? Make it make sense. 
This is like taking something plain and white. Let's just even take this glass. You see how clear, crystal clear this glass is? And you go and smear it with something black. And you want the glass to act like the black smear is not there. That's what you people are trying to do. And I'm talking to the karmics because you all know when we do tarot, the karmics are watching along with you. So you're not the only ones watching. They watch more tarot than the collective because this is how they try to stay ahead of the game, but they never quite can understand how to stay ahead of the game. But this is an absolute plan to send some type of masculine or feminine energy in to deceive someone so that they can end up, so someone else can end up in the wrong relationship, not with your divine masculine not with a wealthy man. I'm just saying wealthy man because whoever you're supposed to be connecting with is someone that is established in life. You're not getting with them for their money, but you two have a soul contract together. This is why. But whoever this person is, they're sending towards you. If you make the mistake of forcing yourself to see this person in a light that's not fitting, you are in for a rude awakening. This is someone that needs a lot of healing and they aren't going to do it. They're going to pretend like they're going to heal or going to put in the effort. I'm telling you, it's an illusion. They are coming in to cause an illusion. It's going to be, oh, girl, what are you doing here? And it's like, um, yeah, I live two minutes away. I shop here. You're from Timbuktu. Again, what are you doing here? It's one of those situations. It's that how do you even know where I shop? And that's because all of you, not all of you, a lot of you, your, your privacies are being invaded. People are in your phone seeing exactly what you see every day of the week, every hour of the day, every minute of the day, your computers, everything. They know because they're trying to study you and they think they study you enough that they can send the right candidate towards you so that they can deceive you. It's not going to work. Someone like me, you can study me for 10 years and you still won't know me. You still won't know me. It'll be like you wasted your time. Because I'm authentic, I don't do things like how other people move. I'm unpredictable. That's what authentic city is. Being unpredictable, being natural to yourself, being genuine with who you are, accepting yourself for who you are. So I can do something for seven days and then you think, oh, well, she does this every day. And then, oh, surprise, I don't want to do that anymore or I'm not doing that today. Right? You can't, you, like people like me, you can't predict me because the because we're not molded the same. We move differently. So trying to predict what we're going to do, trying to study us and thinking you have us figured out, you're wasting your time. You might as well take all that time to go and heal and figure yourself out because it's a waste of time. You're breaking your own heart. Yeah, you need to see things from a higher perspective. Whoever you are, that they are grooming to go towards a feminine energy to deceive them, you may want to walk away because you may end up messing around and getting your feelings hurt and you won't be able to do anything to this feminine energy because the moment you try to raise your hand to do something or to even raise your voice, it's a problem. It's a problem. So I suggest whoever you are that they are sending to someone, walk away. Don't martyr yourself because that's what you're going to be doing. The people you're working with, they've already martyred themselves. They know they have legal issues coming in. Some of these people, they know they have problems coming in. They just don't know when the problem is going to come. Like they are li literally sitting behind closed doors trying to figure out when is the end coming. We know it's coming. When is it coming? What's going to happen? Like they're anxious. I'm telling you, go on, sir. Go heal. Move on. Do not do it. It's not going to go in your favor. You're not going to be able to trick this woman to get in some type of delusional connection with you. Because someone like this, even if they don't know who you are at a core, the universe is going to protect them from you. Because this is pure energy. 
and the pure energy the universe treasures those kind of energies so you're not going to be able to do what it is they're sending you to do it's a waste of time if they pay you money <laughs> The dark side within me is telling you take that money and go because you deserve comp compensation. Okay? But don't waste your time. I'm telling you, you're not seeing clearly. <laughs> you're not seeing clearly. You need to be asking yourself, why are they trying to get me to go in and trick this person? Why couldn't one of them do it? That's because they've all tried to take someone down and they couldn't. That's why they are recruiting you. That's why they're recruiting you. So you need to be smart. These people, there's something they're not seeing. They're conflicted about something. They're delusional about something. They don't know what's coming for them. Someone effed up really bad. Really bad. It was a royal F up. And there's no way back. This is why someone does not know what move to make. Someone did something, they don't want it exposed. There's something someone has been doing for a long time, an institution has been doing for a long time, and they don't want it exposed. So they're stuck. They are stuck. You are being set up thinking you're being put in some type of situation that's going to go in your favor. It's not going in your favor at all, at all. Someone, this woman that they're trying to block to have living in poverty and things like that. Whoever it is they're trying to block, a new path has already been uh, 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 made for them by the universe. Someone already has endless possibilities coming towards them. So there's nothing anyone can do to stop it. They want this person to feel like, oh, you're stuck with us. You're trapped at your job. You're trapped in your home. You're trapped with this person. No, they're not. You all are trapped. This person is not trapped. They're not trapped. I'm telling you, divine intervention. Someone effed up really bad. Yeah, he's coming in to gaslight you because he's been told who you are, what you like. You're, you're a queen of cups. <laughs> he's been told who you are, what you like. You, you do this on this day, at this time. You like this food. You listen to this type of music. Like They've been studying you, but they don't know you. If you're someone like me, they don't know you. You know what I do most of my time during the day? So I'm blessed to work from home. What I'll do, I would turn on videos on my phone for background noise. Most of the time, I'm not watching the video. I'm not really paying attention to the videos. They're playing as background noise for me, right? I may look over sometimes to see what's going on, but I'm doing calls and things like that. So obviously I'm not paying a lot of attention to these, to these videos. Now, if someone is hacking in my phone and they're watch, they're seeing what I'm seeing, right? Let's say I'm watching terror videos, which I do watch terror videos and stuff. And they assume, oh, well, she watches tarot, so I need to study tarot. And I'm going to learn about her that way. And you hear all these different tarot readings and you say, oh, yes, I think she's a queen of swords or something. I know that like, she's intellectual. I need to learn all this stuff to connect with her. And then you come in my energy, right? Now you think you have things that you can talk to me about. You're talking about, let's say, the, uh, different galaxies and things like that. And I'm just looking at you with a blank face because obviously if I'm spiritual, I know you're not being genuine. I probably don't give a crap about galaxies. So what do you do? You don't know what kind of books I read. You don't know nothing. All you've done is watch what I watch. Right? This is the kind of stuff people are doing behind the scenes. Watching what you watch on your phone. Maybe some of them have cameras in your home. But they think they know you, but they don't. I've had people around me for 
20, 15 years, 20 years, and they can't tell you anything much about me. That's literally how how, how uh, private I am or unpredictable. It can be scary, I understand that, but honey, that's who I am. So if someone chooses to study me, you're wasting your time. Because when you come in, it's going to be a whole different rodeo. Like, I'm genuine as can be. I am sincere as can be. But one thing I know about me, I will leave you out in the cold the moment I feel like you are up to BS. I don't have, I don't play around. When it comes to connections, I don't play around. Because I'm someone very loyal and I expect the same in return. I wasn't always that way. I used to be the giver and I got to a point where I said, I don't got nothing to give anymore. What I will do is be kind to you, but I don't have nothing to give. Okay? So it's that situation. It's something like that. You are being studied. You have been being studied. And people now believe they have the right candidate, the right specimen for you. If you say you like some, you like men tall, dark and handsome, tall, light and handsome, whatever it is, they sound the perfect specimen for you. The <laughs> it's a tower. Listen, these people are going through endings behind the scenes. They don't know you. They don't know you. You are someone that atomizes energy. So you know when to tick on the right kind of energy. You know when to be the queen of cups. You know when to be the queen of wands. You know when to be the queen of swords and when to be the queen of pentacles. And because a lot of these people don't know how to acclimate their energy or balance their energy, light, dark, feminine, feminine, masculine, happy, sad, when they see you doing it, they think you're bipolar. You're schizophrenic. You're something. It's like, no, like, you're, I'm responding to the energy you're putting out. A lot of star seeds, they mirror energy. So the energy you're giving them, they will reflect the same thing to you if they choose to. People that don't know how to manage their energy, their emotions, they think the rest of us are bipolar because we know how to control our emotions. I'm telling you, we know how to control our emotions. You're not getting a reaction from us. Sir, stay, sir, listen, I was gonna say stay where you are. Sit down, sir. Let's put it that way. Sit down. Don't do it. It's a setup for failure. It's a setup for disappointments. And I don't even get that you are in your king energy. This is a night. This is a night. Someone is a knight of cups. He wants to come in because he's been groomed. He's been told what a feminine energy likes, what she's looking for in a guy. So he's going to come in and pretend to be what you want. And it's going to be a disappointment for him because you're not even looking for love. I'm telling you, it's going to be a disappointment for this person. All of these people, they think they have the perfect plan. It's an illusion. For some of you that are trying to bring you a court case, this six of swords is coming up. Move on. For some of you that are trying to bring you a court case and they're being told to move on. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to turn out like they think. It's an illusion. They want to cause you an illusion, but they are living under an illusion. The Most High has already taken care of it. Already tower. You see this? The Most High has already taken care of it. These people are already falling from grace. They're under some type of illusion that they can still end you. It's not going to happen. There's a couple that is at the head of this shenanigans. They're the leader of the pack. Someone has been going above and beyond to pretend to be something she's not. Either your ex, some of you, either your ex partner of with some new woman that he thought was better than you and he's finding out she's not. This is someone that sleeps around. 
So he's not even the only person on the menu. He's probably the last person on the menu. He, she may have left him out in the cold or he left her out in the cold, finding out that he betrayed this energy for something like this, something in the reverse. He thought she was this, but she's not. This is her. Okay? Someone is learning a hard lesson. Your enemies were expecting to celebrate at your defeat, but they will not. I'm telling you, they're going through endings. Someone trapped themselves. Someone finished themselves. Someone is facing a lot of financial issues because of something they did to you. They thought they had the clear. They said, you can go ahead and do it. What, do what you want to their star C. They thought they were in the upright to do what they wanted. They thought they were doing the right thing. So they may have taken something from you that belongs to you. Your money, your property, something. Land, something. They took something from you. Block your money, block your finances, block your growth, your prosperity. And you're too strong. You say, I'm still going to keep moving forward. And this person is finding themselves out in the cold. They've lost a lot. Whoever partner up with this person, yeah. Whoever partner up with this person or whoever, they're all going through endings and have endings coming to them. It's a lot of sorrows. I'm telling you, and you're coming out of this energy going into celebration. You have the power in this situation and you're moving forward. You have the power. You have multiple people that want to now come in, have some type of friendship or connection with you so you all can move forward. It's not happening. You're going to be moving forward by yourself to a new soul tribe, to a new connection. Not with these people. The damages that have been done cannot be undone. I'm telling you, new beginnings. You're moving forward, uh, coming out of the cold. You're going to be forming new friendships. Moving forward in your life, support from the universe. You are in charge of your path. You're you, you have the upper hand in this situation because someone effed up royally. All of these people effed up royally. For some of you, there could be multiple lawsuits coming out against people in here for things that they did that they thought no one saw. But it, they were all seen. People in here think they have secrets that no one know. But people know. There's a lot of lawsuits coming out. A lot of court cases. And people are going to be trying to go on the run. Where can you run? You got to pay your dues. Your debt has to be paid. Okay? I'm telling you, judgment. Okay, judgment. Your karma collective is for you to receive some type of uh, position. Elevation. You've perfected your craft, your work. So some type of promotion. You're receiving some type of new beginning in work. That's your karma. That's your justice. You see how here, new beginning, and then perfection, commitment. You're committed to your path. So the universe has decided to give you something, give you what you deserve. And this is what these people were trying to interfere with. You're going to be presented with some type of work opportunity, and it is your justice. There was a promotion you were supposed to receive. This could have been something you were supposed to receive a long time ago, but there's been a whole lot of hullabaloo going on because of jealousy, because of envy, and someone thought they were better at being you than you, and they asked around and found out that they're not. Something is either being taken away from them or it was never given to them, and it's coming to you. Thank you, and it's sorrows for them. She's burdened. She thought she had it all figured out. 
she and her partner in crime, they thought they had it all figured out. These people were celebrating your loss. They thought they had victory over you. They don't. They didn't. They did not. Someone could be planning to take you to court for your work. They want to go in and say, she stole my work. He stole my work. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, your IQ is not even that high to do this kind of stuff. Why are you trying to waste our time? Like, your IQ, your IQ is really challenging right now. Like, low. It doesn't even want to go up the scale. It's like struggling to go up there. And you're talking about someone stole work from you? Come on now. Tower. No one stole anything from you. You either stole from someone or you tried to steal from someone. This is the Queen of Pentacles. That's burden. She is burden. Oh, it's not looking good for her. She's burden. Because whatever she stole or tried to steal, it's not hers. She's going through a tower. I'm telling you. This woman is living in fear because she stole something or tried to steal something and she's been exposed as someone very greedy and superficial and it has been taken from her or she cannot have it and now she's living in fear, still trying to hold on to something that does not belong to her. Let go. Let it go. You cannot have it. Someone stole some money or tried to steal some money and they can't keep it. Because it's not yours. Someone may have stolen a house and they're being pulled out of their house. For some of you, someone stole a promotion from you and they are being let go from that job, that position, because they stole it. This is that you and another person in a company being uh, uh, considered for a position. You were supposed to receive a message. She interfered with the message. So the job could go to her. So you never knew that you were being uh, considered for a, for a position because the other person stole your notice. It's being taken away from her. But some of you, you had a house that was left for you. Someone stole it. She wants to hold on to it, but she's, she's being pulled out of it. She's being pulled out of that home because it doesn't belong to her. I'm telling you, she has to walk away. Even though this car fell, it still fell upright. She has to walk away. She has to leave. She has to leave. She's, she's being put out of this community. Whatever this community is, she has to let go. And she still thinks that she has the option to, you, to decide. You don't have the option to decide. Nothing. You have to let go. She does not want to let go. I'm telling you, oh, this woman is trying to hold on tight to something that does not belong to her, but she has to let go. She has to let go. It's like someone living in denial. Meanwhile, collective, wherever source is taking you, you're going to be receiving a lot of opportunities. You're someone very innovative right? Someone is great at multitasking. Your promotion is coming back to you, whatever it is, whatever elevation this is. You've invested a lot of time and energy in and someone stole it or someone tried to take it. It's coming back to you. This is so redundant. Yeah, honey, she's not recovering. I'm telling you, she's not recovering. Whoever this queen of pentacles is, is not recovering. She could be sick, Someone in here could be sick. Whatever plans they have for you is not coming into fruition. They may have wanted to come in and present you with some type of false offer. It's not happening. Someone is sick or someone is going back home to the other side. Someone could be dealing with a lot of mental illness unsure of what to do. They don't want to put in the work with you. I'm telling you, this woman is not doing well. Someone is not doing well, cannot recover, will not be recovering.
I'm telling you. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles, Chariot, Ten of Cups, Justice, Page of Pentacles. You have nothing to worry about, Collective. Nothing. You have nothing to worry about. Someone's, I'm telling listen, 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 listen. This woman has been paying people behind the scenes to cause some type of ending to people, to someone. It could be to other people, but someone specific. And whoever she's been paying, they're experiencing endings themselves. And she's going through a horrible ending. She's going through some type of betrayal. One of her partners may have betrayed her. She's been trying to end someone's work. Honey, it's not looking good for this woman. It's not. It's not looking good for her. There will be no recovery for her. It's like these people say, we don't want peace. We want problems always. But the only person and people they brought problems to were themselves. They thought they were bringing you problems, but they brought problems on themselves. And now they, they don't know how to recover. It's like they want to sneak away from the problem, avoid the problem, act like it's not there. You can't. There's nowhere to hide. It's bright as heck outside. Look at this card. It's bright as heck outside. Where are you going to hide in daylight? Trying to sneak away like, I, I didn't have anything to do with that. I don't know what's going on. Yes, you do. You are the mean culprit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they would do that. Yeah, they're telling you to sit down. Say, so sit down, man. We have some questions we need you to answer. We need you to answer just a few questions for us. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they would do that to this person. I just, I'm flabbergasted. No, you're ridiculous. That's what you are. Exposed. She's exposed. <laughs> she as you see, All of these people are exposed. They're not going to be healing. I'm telling you, whoever this is that's sick, they're not healing. There's not going to be any healing. They're not going to be receiving any good news. Nothing. It's a donor. Someone effed up royally, really bad. It's like why they were betraying you, they were also betraying each other. It's crazy. That's because there's no loyalty among thieves. Someone here has been making a false promise to someone else. And it's about to bite them in the behind. It's like someone has been leading you on a thin piece of thread. Like, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to do this with you. I'm going to marry you. I'm going to I'm gonna commit to you. I'm going to buy you a ring. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take you on vacation. I'm going to buy you this car. And they've been doing that and doing that. And the Most High has been sitting back and watching them. Like, oh, so you don't have any intentions of giving them what you said you would. You're making false promises. Okay. Okay, I have one for you, and they're about to go through an ending. Someone is making a lot of false promises because they know if they keep giving you the false promise, if you're someone that's not awakened, you're going to believe them, and you're going to keep thinking, well, you know, she didn't give it to me today. Maybe she'll give it to me tomorrow or maybe next week. He didn't give it to me today. Maybe he'll give it to me tomorrow or maybe next week, maybe next month. I just need to hold on a little tighter. No, you need to move on. It's a lie. You don't need to tell them that you're moving on. You just need to make sure you are moving on. Do not hold on to the promises of anyone. If someone wants to give you something, they're going to give it to you. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're going to give it to you. When people have ulterior motives... That's when they start doing things like that. They're disingenuine. And that's why I don't get people 
and I used to be this person we stayed with someone for five, six, seven years, no proposal, no, no nothing. Like, I don't have time to be a roommate with you. I'm not in college anymore. I'm not even old enough to be in a college dorm anymore. Okay? So if you cannot make up your mind within this amount of time, uh-uh. I don't have time. I don't have time. Take that somewhere else. Source, what is your advice to us today? What would you like us to be aware of? Okay. Okay, so we have 30, the number three, which usually has to do with celebration, abundance, friendship, gatherings, social events, just joy and bliss, bounty. Okay, it says you are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. Listen, I said something about what? Authenticity, and it says what? Well, original. Thank you. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. And I will see you in my next video, or you will be seeing me. Goodbye for now. Stay blessed.